Abbott Kinney soon learned that his vision of an American Renaissance couldn't sustain a real estate development on the scale of Venice. So he pivoted. He dropped the opera, the public lectures, and embraced a more carnival-like atmosphere. Venice became an amusement park. But a key part of his vision was a more inclusive society, and that survived. In fact, Kinney entrusted the design of Venice of America to an African-American craftsman, and later took action to ensure that Venice would remain a diverse community. When our relatives came out, there was a little bit more of this, that, and the other thing, a little more French and black and black and Jewish. And, you know, we were all here. And then these other communities developed. The Italians brought the music. Vaudeville broke up, so the Jewish people uh, had a lot of uh, concessions on the pier. Um, and they did acting and musicals. You know, blacks came out, and they could not rent, so each one of my grandfather's cousins who came and lived in his granny house, which is at the back of the lot. Right. They developed their own business and went on and built their own house and put a granny house on their house. And in that way, the community built. Yeah, yeah. So this is your grandfather. And so this is my Arthur grandfather. Reese. Tried different things, um, construction, janitorial service that stuck. So he became a janitor in Santa Monica. When Abbott Kinney opened Venice of America, he applied for a job and soon became head janitor. Arthur Reese, coming from New Orleans, was used to decorating and he had a, a talent for it. And he went to the Frank Wiggins School to get more education on it. And he became the head decorator. Of a huge amusement park operation. Oh, a huge amusement. So yeah. he had the janitorial service and decorating service for the Abbott Kinney Company. Arthur Reese had designed the first gondola. When the concession took off, they ordered the gondolas from Venice. Venice, Italy. From Venice, Italy. But wow. the first was designed by Arthur Reese. But he couldn't ride the gondolas himself because he was black. Not until 20, the 20s, well, right. And then when he bought it, then of course. Yes. Yeah. Well, and neither could any of the other blacks. <laughs> right, right. So he had to go through this charade of, th of making people think that Kinney operated and owned the, the canal. Kinney actually, as a human being, had, I guess, changed through the process of building his dream. Hmm. Um, he was a man of his time, mm -hmm. but um, as he built his dream, he realized that if you had talent, he needed to use your talent, so he mm. gave you an opportunity. And he became famous for that. My uncle, uh, Urban Tabor, my grandmother's uh, brother, uh, he would, uh, came out here and uh, because his cousin Arthur Reese told him that Abbott Kenny was here and they were doing the canals and there was a lot of work here. And so he was working on the pier and Abbott Kenny was walking, and he asked him, could he drive? And he said, yes. But the truth is, he never drew, drove a car in his life. So he went down to the Ford place where he had a friend, and he taught him how to drive. And he became uh, Abbott Kenny's uh, chauffeur and later friend. Anywhere that they went where uh, blacks couldn't stay, Abbott Kenny would not stay. So he ended up staying in places where it was just basically all black or different races, but not white. He realized when he came to Venice that he seen his idea of Venice of America, but he seen that there were a lot of uh, people that came from other places and were trying to really make a living, and he wanted to try to make sure that they had what the dream of everybody is owning a home and having a good job. There was a lot of uh, togetherness uh, with the families. Park down the street, which we considered like home, there wasn't too much there. We didn't have a baseball field, but we had the building with different games and things in there, and everybody considered it home. And like the churches, like say First Baptist Church, uh, every time they had some kind of uh, affair or, or, or uh, going on or something. It was fun. It was uh, beautiful growing up here.